In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to keyframe a special effect in order to enhance the impact of a title. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you how we accomplish this. I've taken my video of the ocean waves and placed it on track number one. And now I've taken also the audio of the dramatic music and placed it on track number three. For the sake of the tutorial, I have turned off the audio. So what I want to do anyway is understand where the audio ends. That's important for me. So I'm going to highlight the clip and then press the end key on the keyboard. That takes my play to the end of the audio clip. And I'm going to right click on the inverted white triangle above the timeline and choose add timeline marker. I'll just call it end of music and press the OK button. Now I need to add an effect and a title between these two. Let's do the title first. I'm going to click on T to get to the title room or I can press the F7 key. I'll take my generic my title and put it on track two. Now I'm going to use the mouse and increase the duration of the title to be just short of my timeline marker. Let's edit the title. I'm going to move into the title designer. I can press the F2 key or double click. And we'll highlight all the letters and we'll change a few things about it. I'm going to change the font family. Again, my favorite way to do that, if I know the font, I can simply start typing it. And here it starts with I for impact. I'll press enter. And then we'll change the size. Again, I'm going to use the keyboard. I'll do 60. And then we want to change a few other features about this. Let's change the color from a uniform color to a two color gradient. We'll click on the begin with color. Pick up from our color picker a blue. Click on OK. And we'll click on the end with. Let's pick a somewhat lighter blue. I'm going to darken it just a bit here and click on OK. And then we'll change the direction of the gradient and turn this to 6 o'clock. I'm going to add a border to it as well. Let's click on the border controls. My default is blue. I don't want a blue border. Let's pick a black one and click on OK. So that's the way we can start. Now I want to make sure it's centered, but I'm going to change the text of it first. I'll call it Ocean and then we'll click on the alignment button below the preview screen and I'll align it horizontally and they will align it vertically. So now it's in the center of the screen and I'll click on OK. So now I have my title in front of the ocean waves. I'd like to make this a bit more dramatic so we're going to go to our effect room. I'll click on the FX on the left side or press the F4 function key and the effect I want to use is called laser. Now I like to search the library to make it simple. When I have lots of effects, I'll just start typing the word laser. And here's the effect I want. We'll take and drag that down and drop it on my effect track. And then make it the same duration as our clip. Now we notice what, what we have. We have a, the center of the picture as a circle and then we have these lines coming out from it. I could leave it like that and that's pretty good but I like to keyframe it to make it a little more special. So we're going to double click on our effect on the effect track that gets me into my effect settings. We have a position that we won't change because it's in the center but we have a percentage. When I drag the percentage bar to the left you notice it gets smaller and the lines get larger. To the right it's the opposite. It can actually all the way to the right I see the normal picture in the track above. So what I want to do is I want to change this by keyframing it. Let's click on my keyframe button in my effect settings and we'll take our playhead and move it to the very beginning. Now how big do I want this circle to be? There are some effects where you can change the size of it both horizontally and vertically. Unfortunately I can't here will always be relatively circular. 
but I can control how big that circle is. So I'll move it just to the place where it's just slightly larger than my text ocean. And I'll, that sets a keyframe at that point. What I'd like to do is have it stay that way for a bit. And I can look at my time code to see how long I have it down here. You notice the time markers here are linked together. I can just change my time code by typing. I'll type a zero here and that'll set it at three seconds. So at three seconds I want it to be the same. I'll right click and do duplicate previous keyframe. And so it will be this size. And then what I'd like to have it do is I'd like to have it enlarge slowly until we get to the end. Well, maybe a little before the end. And now I'll set the percentage up to 200, which is full screen. And so now I've keyframed the special effect so that it will do what I want to in enhancing this title. So it looks good for now. Let's close that out. And let's go back to the beginning. And we'll see what we have. We start out with the word ocean. And we see that effect coming out from the middle. And then it stays at the same size and then slowly increases until we have the entire scene there. And then when we add our other music, it becomes a little bit more dramatic. But that's one way in which you can use keyframing inside of a special effect combined with the title in PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.